What's up everybody, this is Danny and today I'm going to be looking at a very simple to set up home security system called Canary and it works on the software side with iOS and Android devices. The Canary features a 1080p video camera also with a very loud 90 decibel siren, motion detector and also there are temperature, humidity and air quality sensors which make this pretty unique. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what comes with it and it's available now. I'll leave links in the description section below if you're interested in picking one up. In the box you will get a protected by canary sticker and you have your quick start guide and then oh there is another protected by canary so you can go ahead and put those on different parts of your house and also some information about warranty. You get a nice flat tangle free micro USB to USB cord so you can power the canary with it. Then you get the very appropriate yellow auxiliary cord which makes you be able to talk securely to your Android or iOS device. And then you also get a power brick to go ahead and plug that micro USB to USB cord into so you can power the canary. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. It's got a very nice cylindrical design with a nice matte plastic finish on the outside. And the prominent feature of the Canary is you'll see that large 1080p HD camera sensor right there on the front along with the motion sensor. I have the white version but does come in black and silver as well. And on the back you will see the micro USB port, the auxiliary port, and also a hardwired ethernet port if you don't wanna use the built-in Wi-Fi. On the bottom features a light strip and also all of your monitors to have your indoor temperature measured, humidity, and air quality. And on the top, you will have that loud 90 decibel siren. It's super loud. That's a lot of tech packed into this little cylinder. So I like the design of it. It's pretty compact, so it shouldn't stick out like a sore thumb. So it should be perfect on like a bookshelf or in a prominent place in your living room. So I'm going to take it inside and show you exactly how I set it up and where I put it in my own home. I set up my canary right above the fireplace so it's going to give me a nice wide angle view of my living room, front door, and garage door, but you can place it wherever you want. And like I was saying before, the design is very nice so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb wherever you put it. So I like the way it looks and it looks very discreet. So let me go ahead and show you how to set this thing up. It's really simple. The first thing you want to do is plug in the canary that's very simple and use that micro USB to USB cord and then of course you plug that into the wall and then it's going to show you that lighting strip that I showed you on the bottom to tell you that it's going and these colors change for different things like alerts and standby. Then take that yellow auxiliary cord, plug it into the canary and then plug it into your phone and then download the canary app and everything is automated just follow the steps but let me tell you the android side it takes much longer to pair. What's awesome about the Canary is that the basic plan is free, so it will record and it will keep your stuff in the cloud for up to seven days. But there are other plans there, so you can take a look at them. They do charge, so make sure you look at the plan that you need. You can manually change when to turn on and turn off the Canary, but it is smart to be able to do that on its own. So when you leave the house, it will recognize when you do leave and it will arm the system. The software is basic and also very easy to use, so you can add multiple users if you need to. You can also set up multiple canaries in your house, so you can put it in different places and go ahead and monitor all of them. And then you can also give other people access to the canary like your family members if you need to. So let's go over some of the software features and the homepage is extremely easy as you can see. You can see my profile down there, but to the left of it, there is a button so you can manually set to arm or disarm, or you can get it to set it to privacy mode when you're home so this thing doesn't go off while you're just running around in the house. There is a big watch live button right there so you can get right to the live stream. Now there is a little bit of a delay in this live stream, but it works really well and the quality is actually quite good. Here's an example of the live stream while I'm filming this video and you can see how wide this camera is. It gets all of my living room plus my stairs and my garage door and my front door. From this home page you get a quick glance of your temperature, your humidity and also the air quality and if you tap into that you can actually get some graphs so you can take a look at the trends but if you just swipe up you get to where all of your notifications happen and all of your detections happen and on the top three parts right there in the corner you can separate those by all just by detection or you can bookmark different events that have happened so you can watch them later on. 
So this is how Canary works. If it senses anything that is weird or it senses motion that's not supposed to be there, it sends you an alert like a text message. And then you can review that where Canary records that point of abnormality. And then you wanna make sure that it's something that you need to react on. And if it is, then they give you a couple of options. You can ring that ridiculously loud 90 decibel siren or you have a opportunity to make an emergency call. The exact same thing applies to the nighttime. And actually this camera has a night vision mode which works extremely well and the quality is really, really good off of it. I was very impressed with the nighttime recordings of the Canary. You do have to help the canary get a little smarter though. If you have a pet like I do in the house, the pet will trigger this motion sensor a lot. But what's awesome is you can tag these clips like pets and sunlight and different things like that. So eventually it will stop alerting you. So overall, I really like the way that Canary works when it comes to the simplicity of it, because it just works when you leave the house, it knows. So it takes a little bit of time. I've been using this for about two weeks now. And then what you can do is go back and look at some of these graphs, like if your temperature is stable in the house, how much humidity there is, and maybe the air quality. So the air quality sensor, I did have to reset it by just opening the windows and things like that. So it does get better over time, but it will show you if there's some abnormalities in the air quality. The Canary is extremely easy to use, the software is very basic, and I think that this is the target audience that Canary is going for, for people that may be a little bit intimidated by this smart home security thing. The average non-technical person will have no problem setting this up or using it. For people that want a little bit more control or have more smart home devices, then this may be a little bit of a problem if you're looking for Canary to be the central hub of all of those different smart home products, then this will not do it because it has no way to talk to any of the other smart home things that you may have. Hopefully we'll see a few software updates that happen to the Canary since it's already been updated a couple of times to maybe where we can get a siren that just goes off if it detects motion and some other features. I would also like to see a feature for something like battery power backup in the future. For people that are looking for something extremely simple and easy to use with great image quality, then I would say definitely check out the Canary. So thanks for watching guys and leave your comment in the description section below of what you think about the Canary and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video.